Hi there, Canon Danny here and today I'm going to review a Cannondale Control 4. Uh, this is uh, what I think much more than just a cycling. Of course we love our racing machines, we love our cross-country bikes or race bikes. We like the way they look, we like to look cool when we are riding um, our bikes. But the urban bikes that we're using in the cities, this is actually much more about lifestyle. This is what I think. And and what I think is that this model is really fitting into such idea. And this design is really cool. Uh, many people would call it love it or hate it, and this is true. This is what Canada is all about. Uh, we don't have in the frame a front triangle and rear triangle because there, there are no triangles in this bike. And what I like about the design of this frame is that there is no like super shaping and you know everything super light no this is actually very very robust frame it has to be super stable uh, on heavy load like heavy rider with the rack uh, and some you know heavy load on the bike and this will still uh, go uh, super smooth and the upper tube will give us uh, more clearance and the down tube uh, the, the main one looks like it's trying to fit into the um, uh, look of our the shape of our front wheel. It looks cool, really cool. And on the other side, when there is no leg, like right leg of our uh, fork, you see a whole wheel. And with this frame, I think it's, it looks very, very cool. Here in the rear, there is no triangle as well. There is all this, you know, Cannondale. Um, system integration stuff which is um, prepared for mountain a rack and here uh, our frame is ready for integrated uh, kickstand and now one thing about this whole idea of this bike is that uh, it's fully integrated with the rack and the kickstand and with the fenders both uh, front and rear because the left is also uh, fender ready but it actually didn't come with all that stuff so the bike is actually naked of course it, it looks fine but you still have to pay for all that um, equipment the design of the bike is really clean there is nothing like you know super large you know fonts with the cannondale uh, sign nothing uh, at all here actually on the main tube just this um, blue line here and the all good Cannondale found here then the control model here on the upper um, tube and you know some logos here on both wheels and here in the front also the classic vintage I would say Cannondale logo I love it it's, it's also, also here on the handlebar it looks cool it's, it's clean there is, there is not too much of it um, and you know opposite to that clean design the look of the frame is very like you know shouting this is Cannondale this is this is my bike uh, the lefty you know the the very very large uh, tube here it's actually like you know huge pipe uh, looks cool some people love it some don't I do like it uh, with the 28 uh, inch wheels on Schwalbe little big band uh, tires uh, 38 millimeters uh, wide um, and also the rim which is 35 millimeters uh, it looks cool and I think it's it's uh, absolutely ready for the city and some you know small paths in the forest or something like that uh, the drivetrain is 1x9 it's um, FSA Comet um, chain, uh, chain set in the front and then Alivio uh, derailleur with Alivio shifters and then Altus um, hydraulic uh, disc brakes all works very very fine uh, I'm very pleased with 1x9 uh, drivetrain which, which is shifting very very uh, you know clearly and crisp but um, I don't think that this com these components would fit into the price of the bike because it actually costs um, more than 1000 euros and now you can buy it on, on sale I bought it on a great sale like 40% um, sale and then I would say uh, it's good time good op good opportunity to buy this uh, bike so the idea of uh, having a very robust and very you know stylish bike 
is really what uh, control bikes um, are all about. Uh, the lefty rigid is a uh, really cool design. Uh, remember that it's um, double crowned, very stiff, super stiff and also it has super stiff uh, connection with the front axle and front wheel and if you add 32 steel, stainless steel spokes at front and rear, you really get a robust bike uh, ready for heavy load um, and really bike for like everyday uh, use. So this is how the bike looks like from the other side. As I said, this fully naked wheel looks really cool. It's 28, uh, 28 inches, so you see a whole wheel and then you see uh, the lefty fork uh, on the other side with this control uh, sign. Now maybe some things I don't like about this bike in particular is that in my opinion Cannondale thought that uh, since they already have such fans like me and, and, and you guys uh, and they have good quality they don't have to think about details anymore. Uh, and one of the things they didn't do well in my opinion are these pedals they look cool this is really cool design for urban bikes uh, working fine uh, with our sneakers but still this is not something I would like to have uh, in the bike uh, would that cost more than 1000 euro or, or much more than one thousand dollars you can feel that there is a lot of friction in these pedals so those won't have uh, won't give you a feeling that you have a good quality uh, stuff the other thing that Canada didn't consider at all is that when you lift the bike up the wheel will usually turn to the left because you've got lefty you've got a little bit more weight here on the left side and what the fork does, it will hit the frame, like here. And Cannondale didn't put anything on the fork, which actually, which actually means that you can you know, buy a new bike and then try to put it on your car on the way home. And you will just damage your, at least the paint. You can even damage the frame when you hit it like badly. So, some you know form protection or anything here would be really really help it's not just helpful you you have to have something here on the fork uh, or either on the frame but uh, on the fork will be easier and Canada Cannondale didn't give you uh, at this price point uh, anything to uh, protect your fork and the frame and in my opinion even if the bike uh, would cost $300 uh, the seller should think about uh, such uh, details. Overall, I love the bike. Um, it looks cool for me. It's, uh, you know, one hand it, it looks very clean. On the other hand, it's very, very, very stylish and it will really make other people uh, look at you when you're passing them on your bike. Um, I like the one by nine drivetrain. It's it's just easy. But if you are uh, if you live in in a hilly terrain, um, the bike is ready for mounting um, the cables for the front um, derailleur. They would go out here and then here, and you just mount the derailleur, uh, change the chain set. Mount the shifter, and you're ready to go in uh, with the two derailleur derailleurs. Let me know what do you think about uh, this bike. I'm gonna make some other movies about uh, the lefty fork in particular. If you've got one, what do you think about it? Uh, and maybe how much it weighs? Um, it weighs around 11.5 kilos, uh, which is very very good um, weight in my opinion. Uh, considering that the bike is really robust, everything is stiff and it's, it, it will really, really drive uh, well on the heavy load. Uh, thanks for watching my video and see you soon in the next one. Bye!